In today's episode, we are going to show you how you can hook up a Sphero rover to Sergey.tv in just 10 minutes. That's right, we're raising up our bar from 20 to 10. Let's see if we can make this happen. Keep in mind that for this setup, you'll need to pre-install the circuit SDK on the SD card of your Raspberry Pi and create template game. For this setup, you'll need a Raspberry Pi, an SD card, three female-to-female -female pin cables, a power bank with a cable to power your Raspberry Pi, and a camera. Speaking of cameras, you can use, as usual, all types. Traditionally, we recommend using a webcam, but you can also use, let's say, a capture card with a GoPro on top, or you can use a CSI camera, like a Raspberry Pi camera. If you're using a Raspberry Pi free, in theory what you could do is use a CSI camera with it and then have no power bank. So what you could do is use directly the power of the Sphero rover to power your Raspberry Pi. However, we would not recommend doing that because then your Raspberry will run in low power mode and at some point it can just turn off out of nowhere. And if you want to do a quick and dirty job just like me, also make sure to get some double-sided tape. Uh, we will use it to hook up all the stuff or attach it to our Sphero rover. Let's start assembling our Sphero rover. This is probably the easy, easiest build video we have uh, from all of the game templates. Uh, and assuming you have your circuit SDK all set up, so we're just gonna start plugging in the SD card to our Raspberry Pi. Then we're gonna attach it to the rover with all the rest of the electronics. So first I'm gonna take our power bank I'm just putting it on the back of the rover. You probably have a better setup than me, but I'm just showing you quickly. So now we're attaching the Raspberry Pi to the power bank. Now that we have the Raspberry Pi and the power bank attached, we're gonna attach the camera to the Pi itself. We get the camera attached, and now we gotta connect the pin cables from the Raspberry Pi to the Sphero rover. So first thing I'm gonna do is remove the top plate, and now I'm just gonna connect the cable. So you worry, the way you do it, uh, is make kind of like all of them in parallel on both sides, same way. And now let's assume that the ground cable is going to be green in this case. So we connect it to the ground of the Raspberry Pi, that's, which is the third pin on the front side. Then I'm connecting the RxO and TxO. Let's make it like this, it's easier. Make sure they're all in parallel. So. One, two, and three. So now ground, RxO and TxO are kind of here. And now we got to connect them also on the other side. So you can see all the connections here. So ground, TxO, and RxI. And the way we do it is we are going to take all the cables, assuming they're going in the exact same way as on the raspy pins. Let's make sure orange has to be like this. And now what we got to do is flip the two other cables. So RxO, RxI and TxO are going in reverse. So now I put it through, and now I'm going to attach it to the rover itself. So let me just do this quickly. One pin, two pin, and three pin. And now we're just gonna pull them through, attach the whole thing, put the camera down so we can actually see everything. And we basically have the whole setup. Now all I'm gonna do is plug in the camera to the Raspberry Pi, and then power the Raspberry with the power bank. I'm plugging in the Raspberry Pi. For this setup, let's just have it like this. Or do we use more duct tape or tape? I don't know, let me know in the comments. And now I'm just going to power on the Raspberry Pi. So now let's wait for the Raspberry to boot and continue our setup on the game dashboard. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi has booted. I can see it on my game page dashboard. So now I'm just going to right click on the controller link for the IP address, there we go. I'm gonna press continue. And here, all I really have to do is just change the game type to a rover. So there we go, it went into effect. And now I'm just pressing next. Uh, settings are all set, your controller is now connected. So now what we're gonna do, okay, everything shows good on the dashboard. It says that the controller is green, meaning it's working. The streamer works, it does the camera work. So I'm gonna preview and check that. And indeed, we can see the camera. Actually, let's reattach it, put it a bit higher so we can actually see Alexi recording us as usual. Another inception moment. <laughs> uh, but there's one more thing we gotta do, uh, is actually save the controls. 
So the way our SDK works, every time you change to a new game template, you have to kind of update the game control. So we again go to the in-game configuration in our settings. And here, the keys are already set to WASD or arrows. So all I'm going to do is press save. Uh, settings are now safe. And now I think the game is basically ready. So I'm going to press preview on the dashboard. And let's see if we'll be able to drive. Oh, actually, I still got to turn on the Sphere Rover. So now we see it's on because we see the lights. And it works. This is probably the simplest setup you can do on Circuit.tv. You can have a running robot that anybody can queue up and control from anywhere in the world. And it literally takes 10 minutes of your time to do everything. Of course, if you want it more robust, you probably don't want to use double-sided tape like me. You can actually attach it pretty nicely with zip ties or bolts. Now what I'm going to do is stop the preview on my dashboard and go to the game page, queue up, and I'll be able to play. And anybody else in the world can queue up and control your Sphere or Rover. So what are you waiting for? Go and hook up yours. Let us know in the comments below what cool games you think can be done with Sphere Rovers and surrogate.tv. And also if you have any questions or suggestions, like and share this video and we'll see you next week with another awesome robot build video. Where should we go? Where should we go? Are we going to your home? Are we going to the office? Are we going to the Sumo Arena? Where should we go? <laughs>